Hi, Virgo. Happy June. I hope you're doing well. Okay. You know I shuffle offline, guys, and I clear the energy, so we don't waste time doing that, okay? And I always ask what you need to know, not what you want to know, okay? Forewarned is forearmed, right? Okay. All right. This is your shuffle. Hang on. You? Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Your overall energy is the Seven of Swords, okay? This is a card of moving in a different direction. Sometimes it takes a little bit of an adjustment, though, okay? It's usually uh, changing your life in a different direction, but in the midst of some kind of chaos, okay? Just not smooth waters, either in a, new, a whole new direction or uh, it's just not totally clear, yet, okay, but you're continuing to feel your way, okay, I think that's a great energy to have here, okay, the crooks of this is the five of coins, okay, this is a card to me that just means you're feeling out of sorts, and I think because you're making such a change, you're just not really feeling uh, your place yet, okay, how this shows up is the king of cups, have no fear, okay, this is someone who knows who they are, uh, this is someone who people come to for advice, spiritual counselor, uh, mentor, teacher, something like that, okay? This is someone who uh, knows who they are. Their life has not been easy for them. And through all of that, they know now their value and where they drop anchor. They're very divinely connected to. They can dance between that veil, okay? Um, when he shows up in a reading, too, sometimes he'll say that something is going to come along that may shock you, okay? It may give you an aha moment where it just knocks you off your feet for a moment. He's telling you to just let this pass. Don't pay it any mind. Don't get involved in it. It's just going to pass, okay? It really has nothing to do with you, but it may just catch you off guard is all, all right? The five of coins also speaks of watching your money, okay? Uh, watch your spending, right now. The five of coins also um, there's a message coming with that. Make sure that if there's anyone that you're engaging in any kind of financial, uh, make sure you're not caught up in some kind of get-rich-quick scheme. I think that that's where that was going. And I don't think you will. This person is way too smart for that, okay? But just keep your eyes open. I think something like that is what may catch you off guard. If something looks or, or sounds too good to be true, know that it is, okay? And just let it pass, okay? That could be what it is. A lot of times when uh, I say things will shock you or whatever, it doesn't necessarily mean shock you in a bad way. But just think is all that I'm saying, okay? Because in the near past, you've got the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? This is things are turning in your favor now. You don't want to get caught up in something that's going to throw you off your path, okay? This is a long time coming to you. It's owed to you. It's a karmic card. It's a relationship coming in uh, that comes out of nowhere. That could be the shock also, you know. This is in the near past, though, so it's very prevalent in this reading, okay? And it, it, it actually will wash through here, the energy of that. Um, it's just about cycles and changes, and things are going to turn in your favor now, okay? And it's just saying let things flow, because it is a divinely uh, sent to you card, okay? Where you're dropping anchor here is the emperor, you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you want to do. Um, you're probably stepping into your power for the first time in a very long time. The emperor tells you, make sure that 
uh, the truths and the wisdom and how you're living your life, your uh, traditions, your values, your principles are yours, okay? Make sure that you're anchored here, not living someone else's, okay? What crowns you're reading is the Two of Cups. This, to me, is the marriage card more than the lover's card, okay? This is a card of a divinely guided relationship in good karma, okay? It's a karmically balanced relationship, and by that I mean it doesn't always need to look like this, okay? Sometimes balance looks like this, depending upon what the other person needs at the time or what you need. It's, it's karmically balanced. It's not like this, okay? It's a healthy, you need to bend sometimes, you just need to do it. It's just how it goes, okay? But it's a relationship that that's already, you're aware of that, okay? It's, it's just, it's a great relationship. You know what, what part you play in it, okay? You see eye to eye is basically what that is. And here is, you see eye to eye, okay? It's a great relationship. All right. And keep in mind that with karma, all that is is energy in and energy out, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, you know, these are things that are aligning for you because you've done the work, okay? I just thought I should say that. The Three of Wands is where you go from here over the next year. That's about getting a foundation under you. Something is taking off, but it's not yet stable, okay? Your, uh, it's a card of travel also, okay? You, you can be traveling somewhere. This is that card that shows up in my other deck that I always say I look with wonder because she's looking out or he's looking out over the whole world and it, you can have whatever it is that you want right now, okay? It's just, you might just not know where your footing is 100% yet. Perfectly normal, okay? It's just saying whatever it is that you want, you're starting to see it take form, okay? Four is stability, so you're right there on the threshold of that. Your idea is now put into action and it's gaining stability, okay? Where you go from here, what you need to do over the next year, your part in all of this, is the Five of Wands, okay? That's a card that, uh, make boundaries for yourself, be heard. Don't get yourself in any kind of relationship, and I don't mean just emotional, I mean any kind of relationship where you're having to silence yourself. Make sure that you're being true to yourself too, okay? Don't be a follower. If people are trampling all over your boundaries, don't let them do that. If you're doing that to someone, which I don't think is the case, don't allow that. Don't do that either, okay? This is a card of really just, uh, you've been following everyone else for so long that you're just uh, in a place now where you're just not doing that anymore. You've had to silence yourself also you're not doing that anymore. You're kind of coming into your own is where that's going here, okay? And again, you're rooted in uh, the emperor here. He's not a follower. He's someone who's very, very uh, rooted in, in what he is, okay? All right. Your day-to-day, -day, your domestic life, okay, the people you interact with, your jobs, your relationships, all of that is the devil card, okay? Keep in mind, when this card shows up, it just says you're giving your power away. Somehow, you've got to rein that back in. This is a card of addiction, too. But addictions are just misuse of power. That's all that it is, okay? You can uh, pull that back in. It's, it's up to you. It's your heaven on earth or hell on earth. You can pull yourself back from this. It's also a card that also just says balance your life. Make sure your life is in balance. That's all. It's not a bad card, okay? Just make sure that, you know... What you're doing is, is balanced. That's all. Your hopes and fears. You've got the Five of Wands. This is another card of conflict. This to me is more, uh, it can be inner conflict also. You may have a few different choices that you, you know, that you're trying to, you know, being pulled in a bunch of different directions also. It can be on a large scale or it could be on a small scale. I think what you're doing here, I think these are just options. I think you've just got, your head is in a lot of different places right now, and I think that that's all that is. I'm going to say with this, if you're doing something that's new, keep it close to your chest. Don't go uh, sharing your blow-by-blow, play-by-play, where you want to go. 
with too many people. When we're in the midst of making change, not everyone is happy. <laughs> at, you know, it, it kind of is a reflection of where they've stalled in life. So instead of being happy for us, they are not. And they say things that I'm sure are not intended to be hurtful, but there's staying power in that. So all I'm saying is if you're moving in a direction, just keep it to yourself for a bit. That way you don't get too many chiefs and not enough Indians in here. When your life is about you, not a thousand other people, okay? Make sure you're moving in a balanced uh, direction and drawing boundaries for yourself, okay? That's where this is going. Not bad at all. Okay, you've got a nice mix in here. Your outbound card here is the Eight of Coins. Your whole perspective on life changes now, okay? This isn't just diligently working away at something. Coins are just not monetary. They're anything on this earthly plane. There are relationships, our jobs, our responsibilities, people in our lives, okay? What you're doing now is uh, a move that's going to financially secure your future. Not only is it going to do that, though, it's going to change your whole perspective on life, not just the job that you're doing, not just the career that you're doing, not whatever you're embarking on. It's going to change your whole perspective. And when that changes, it opens uh, the floodgates. And I think that that's what's happening here. And that's why it's karmically aligning for you. The wheel is turning. It's a season. It's a fixed change, okay? But this is how your contributing part is it. You know, it... It shows you a whole new way of life is what it is, okay? I think this is wonderful. I think you're growing and changing and expanding on many different levels um, in a balanced way. I think that this shows up in your, your home life just to tell you to keep it all in check. It's a lot going on at the same time. Just make sure that you're keeping yourself uh, in balance, okay? I think this was a great reading. I hope that it helped you in some way, and I hope that you have a fantastic June. Thank you.